Yeah, so a couple of weeks ago I test rode the uh, Tailfin 1.1 top tube bag, which was brilliant. And I wanted that bag for my longer ride so I can pack some more snacks and just take some more equipment with me. But I actually love that bag so much, I sent it back so I could get the, uh, the 0 0.8 bag because I wanted it on my bike for all my rides. With this size bag here, the 0 0.8 litre, I am absolutely chuffed to bits of it. I'm so glad I've got it. It just frees up my back pockets. See, even out of the saddle, climbing on this rough terrain, it's no problem to rob the bike. This pack really doesn't go anywhere. It is stuck solid. I do personally like the fact that there's no Velcro strap around the head unit there. So it worked out very nice for me, this bag. I purchased this with my own money. This is not a paid review. Let's go and have a look at it. First of all, I'll just remind you again, this is not a paid um, promotion or anything. I purchased this with my own money. So there we go, this tail fin. This is the 0 0.8 litre version of the top tube pack. Let's have a look inside. So now we've got the instructions or demonstrations. All right, let's have a look at this. That is it. This is the first look at this beautiful top tube bag what a beautiful bag this is there we go we pull back on the pulley inside we got three straps two small ones and one large one. I'll show you why I need the large one myself. And also we got the fixing bolts and a spare pulley. So at the moment we got a at the moment we got a teal coloured pulley on there and you got a spare black one. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me on my ride and review today. Well, as you just seen me unboxing that a few days ago. So let's talk about this pack whilst I'm riding with it. Look how slim it is, guys. It really is a lovely, lovely looking bag. So I'm using the 0 0.8 litre top tube pack from Tailfin. And uh, I really do like it, I really do. Initially, I did buy the 1.1 litre pack because my idea was I wanted a, a top tube pack for my longer ride so I can just squeeze more goodies in and some extra tools, etc. But when I test rode that one, the 1.1 litre, I really did like it. I liked it so much. I wanted this bag on my bike all the time. So I opted for the smaller size of 0 0.8 litres. And... Um, I am not disappointed, it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, so I'm chuffed a bit. Even with this pack being their smaller selection, I can fit a lot into it, you know, including my iPhone spare tubes, snacks and gels. It's amazing, it's like a little TARDIS. So let's talk about this pack. There's um, five variations of this pack and three different sizes. So you have the 0 0.8, the 1.1 litre, and the 1.5 litre which is the largest one and they're ideal for whether you're bike packing gravel riding mountain biking or like me road riding yeah so there are um, two different closures you have a, um, a flip style sport lid or, or sport style flip lid <laughs> i think it's magnetized um, and i reckon that'd be good for um like sportifs or if you're racing or for instance or um, there's a uh, zip version, which I've got here. It has a very sticky V-mount foundation, 
which just grips your top tube. The fixing bolts pass through the rubberized V-mount foundation for direct mounting onto the top tube if your bike obviously supports that system for a nice secure fit but I'm obviously using the very grippy TPU straps and one of which is longer for the thicker head tubes like mine one of the advantages of using the straps is that you can position the pack anywhere on the top tube mine for example is sat on top of my TCU unit However, all the information I need to see is available upon my Wahoo head unit. Yeah, another good thing about the straps, which I really do like, is that they won't damage your frame like many of uh, the Velcro straps do on other brands. Apparently it's waterproof as well. <laughs> I've not tested it myself. The packs have a very slim profile, especially the 0.8 as you have zero knee rub, even when climbing out of the saddle. And the zip closure can rattle a little, especially in these country lanes. But the rattle is easily solved. packs have a very low profile logo which is also reflective at night it has a very handy cable outlet hole so if you're carrying a power bank you can uh, charge your lights or head unit up whilst you're out riding right guys i thought this would be a good time in the ride to stop and show you what i'm actually carrying in my top tube pack today on this ride let me just show you what it's like absolutely wonderful it's not moved a millimeter so this is the toggle the toggle it just put it up that way and it stops a rattle like i said earlier on right you can do this all one-handed obviously and you can grab you can grab snacks out of the uh out of the pack easily you can open and close that zip whilst you're on the move let me show you what i've got in this little 0 0.8 liter top tube pack so i've got quite a bit in here guys remember this is a 0 0.8 pack so I've got a couple of gels. I think there's a couple of bar, a couple of bars. I have an inner tube. Uh, my phone. Um, spare battery, GoPro battery, um, a disc straightening tool, and a um, and a spare GoPro fastener. And that's everything I'm carrying in my little 0 0.8 litre pack. Quite a bit, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got um, a nice little uh, mesh side wall, which is quite nice. And a nice flooring underneath there, obviously, if you're bolting it. You can, let me just show you. I'll just take this out for you so you can see in there. Can you see in there, guys? So you just put the, put the bolts through there relay the flooring in there there you go and also guys tail fin do a crash replacement and a five-year warranty so how good is that so guys i really do recommend these packs so check tail fin out on the website yourself and uh, make an order one of the best things i really did like about the tail fin top tube pack is that i had no um steerer tube strap because on the um specialized especially we have this rubberized gasket right that's it from me for today's ride guys i hope you enjoyed that review i have probably left out tons of information so guys check out the tail check out tailfin on their website i'll put links in the description below um yeah they're a brilliant british company fantastic design i do highly recommend one well until next time guys make sure you get out there and ride and i'll see you on the next one bye for now Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.